So let's talk season three because the beginning of this season is strange in that there's no magic technically in a show called The Magicians. Well, we're, we're renaming the show. Uh, <laughs> it's called The Persons. We complained about everything magic couldn't do because we couldn't see that a world without it was pointless. Maybe there's a way to get it back. After three years and you know your characters are established, what was the most interesting thing about trying to kind of recover that when it's such a, it's a spine of your show? Yeah, I think this season is a, is a big exploration into everyone's different relationship to magic. Uh, like for Alice, she was born into magic. She's had it her whole life. She experienced pure magic as a Niffin and then had no magic. So she's kind of dealing with uh, if she thinks magic is good, bad, like what, what do you, why do we have it? And so it's kind of an introspective journey for her this season, and, and it's a it's a journey for everybody, but in a different way for everyone. What about Quentin? Where is he at with with all of this, and and what, where it places him? Um, you know, I think a, like a lot of I think he experienced a lot of like emotional turmoil in the in the second season, and uh, the third season. I, I think there's something, there's a bit of like a, a privilege uh, of distraction. Mm. Um, uh, there's, a, there's a great quest to go on, which allows him to not look backwards and, and reflect on some of the things that happened and choices that he made. Mm -hmm. And so I think um, he becomes like a little addicted to that forward momentum. With Julia, we've got a, an idea that she has a tiny spark and that there's kind of a selfless journey and she's been doing a lot for herself, her own path, but now this is a bigger, this is a bigger thing than her to have to work on. What's it going to do for her? I, I think it's great. I, I mean, it, it, it's humbling, right? And it's sort of, it's a good distraction. And it's also, it's nice to see this character being selfless and, and helping others and, uh, and not even necessarily wanting this one thing that everybody else seems to want to obtain or have. Um, so it, it's it was necessary, I think, and it was it's it's nice, and it's like a long time coming. Yeah, so it feels really good. As Stella and Julia, I think that's great. Yeah. Well, let's talk about you guys' relationship in terms of with this quest and being able to work together. Are you guys good with each other, and also getting yeah. to just be on the same team. <laughs> it was so nice. Yeah. I mean, Stella and I are friends, and we haven't didn't get to work together for like two seasons. Yeah. So we like never saw each other. We were in different storylines in different worlds. So we this year we one scene together. Yeah, not one scene. It crazy. was like, hey, at the table read, and then we'd never see each other again. So it was really nice to get to explore this relationship between these two very powerful women and 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 get to see them form a, a bond and a mutual respect. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it was really it was fun. It was cool. Yeah. We had a really fun time. That's awesome. Got so got let's talk about the. We got uh, to do some stunts. Yeah. Oh, nice, cool. good. I don't know how much we're allowed to reveal, but oh, that's good. We though. were like Jackie Chan and outside. <laughs> nice. That, when does that roll into the season? Do we get to see that front half, latter yeah, half? Somewhere, somewhere one of the half. Middle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> middle, middle. Middle half. I think it was like episode seven, actually. Nice. Might have been. That's I don't know. Incentivized watching. Okay. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> and then for for Quentin wrong. and no <laughs> and and for Alice, you know, starts a little uh, different this season. So where are you guys going for? These people went on a profound journey and mm -hmm. came out the other side changed. And uh, this season, I think, uh, is an exercise in these two people getting to know each other again. You guys uh, are on the Munchak this season, right? So tell me about how that kind of standing set kind of changes the dynamic of this journey as you're talking about and, and being able to use that and, and where it goes. I didn't get to be on it enough. Okay. <laughs> but apparently it's like its own, you know, it is its own character. Yes, right? like, absolutely. And, and so apparently there was, I mean, I felt it when I shot in there a little bit. I never shot on the outside boat, but the one, the internal set. Mm -hmm. You feel it. It's like very vibey. It's very cool. That's cool. Yeah. It's, it's, this season is has such a grander scope because mm -hmm. of the boat and p people who love fantasy and going on adventures and quests. Like that's the kind of stuff I love watching. So this season gives you that kind of experience. Thank you.